week. Oh man, this is such a rough schedule. That's where we are. It is May 9th. Um, I'm I'm tired. It's like eight o'clock now. I'm not gonna lie, man. Getting out of bed today was tough. Even like I'm putting in a lot of work and I'm getting very little in return. This is rough, and I just started. That's all I can say. Like it's just it's been a lot. I just got the news that my step one school is available. What is up guys? It is 6.40 a.m. on Tuesday, April 18th. Um, I guess you could say this is officially dedicated for me. It's also my OSCE week. Um, I had planned to really get started heavily with dedicated on Sunday and it just didn't happen. Today, um, my OSCE is at 11. It's 6.43 right now. So I plan to study from like 7 to 10, 10, 15 maybe. But we're just gonna get through today and see what we can do. And tomorrow will be the first like uninterrupted day of my step prep. the morning did not go as planned um i had started with looking at this sketchy biochem deck which i don't know it just i love sketchy for farm and micro it really makes it plain and memorable but i found at least the first two sketches i was looking at for the biochem were just so like cluttered and muddy that it was actually hard for me to even like remember the things I needed to remember. If I stay at this pace, I definitely won't get through all of my review <laughs> in time, but it's 10 o'clock. I have my um, SP encounter or my OSCE at 11 and we're supposed to be there a little early. So I think I'm just gonna go get ready for that and come back to this. So that's what I'm gonna do now. Okay guys, so I didn't really do much checking in today. It is now, let's see what time it is. Um, I know it's after six, so it's been almost 12 hours. I got about 1400 Anki cards done today. It seems like the plethora of Anki cards is just never really gonna go anywhere because like every day something is gonna be unsuspended. So yeah, this is the start of what's gonna be a very rough six weeks. Um, but yeah, I'm going to um, try to get some dinner together. Hopefully tomorrow I can get to the gym. Like, So much more to learn, but, you know, here we are, right? So, yeah, that's it for today. Oh, guys, okay. It is Wednesday, April 19th. It is 6.07 a.m. You probably hear an airplane in the background. Um, I'm not gonna lie, man. Getting out of bed today was tough. Even though, like, I went to sleep at a decent time. Not quite when I wanted to. I wanted to be, like, sleep by 10.30 so I could get seven hours of sleep, be up by 5.30, get things going and moving by 6. I feel like it took me a little while to fall asleep, but, um, I don't know. Oh, man, this is such a rough schedule. So this says 6 to 9, study. Gym, 9 to 10.15. The question block, 10.30 to 1.30. Lunch. Question block 2.30 to 5.30, dinner, question block from 7 to 9. And honestly, that might need to be a working lunch and a working dinner. Hey y'all, I'm doing a very quick check-in. It is um, Thursday, April 20th. I think the days are getting crazy, yes. And I keep wearing a black shirt, so it looks like it's the same day, but I promise it's a different day. Um, yesterday, I didn't really like completely vlog the day just because it does take time out of the day but yesterday was a better day than the day before the day before it just felt like I kind of just gave up at some point and was like I can't do anymore whereas yesterday almost felt more like you know I accomplished a lot of the major things that I wanted to accomplish felt really good about how far I got um I'll pretty much be finished with all the new biochem cards by tomorrow so today i'm actually going to start with questions now it's a little after six so i just want to hurry up and get straight into it but um overall the practice questions have been going like i've been getting a higher percentage than usual definitely not quite like oh i'm ready for step but like it's literally my first week <laughs> so i i have time and um yeah so i'm just gonna go ahead and get started 
what's up guys <clears throat> it is monday april 24th today has been exhausting it's 5 25 started the day with anki and then um took a practice step exam cbssa so uh i want to be transparent i did not get a passing score um my total equated percent correct was 55 percent and the low pass range is 61 to 70 so i'm not like too far off from a passing score and with it being like this is the beginning of my second week of dedicated i'm not too like upset by that it's kind of feeling worried again that i just won't have enough time to review everything that i need to review so and especially like i have something coming up this weekend i'm going to for the graduation so i just want to show you guys this is kind of what it looks like this will show you your score low pass it tells you like your probability of passing step one if you take if you took the test within a week what's up guys it's been a little bit or a little while since i have recorded anything for this specific vlog um and you know a few things have happened um since my last recording that i thought i should probably update you guys on so it is tuesday may 2nd um so this past weekend we actually went out of town me being me i had worked out this whole plan of how i was going to divide my time while i was there and long story short it just didn't really end up working out that way i was thinking about maybe delaying my test by a week i specifically picked may 30th because i wanted to have some time to myself after the exam but at the same time i said well what good is it to take an exam early if there's just like a week's worth of material that i don't know that could you know be the difference in the score I just i decided to push it so i pushed it to june 8th i just think that's the best decision for me what's up guys it's monday may 8th um a much later start than usual it's 8 13 a.m okay, today is another day of step prep and i have uh, quite a few anki cars to get through but also um today is our second but it's our second form that we're taking um i'm gonna take it later in the day just because it's pretty long and exhausting and i'm not gonna want to review anything or do anything else after it we'll just see it depends when i finish it and that kind of stuff what's up guys it is tuesday evening it is may 9th i believe i don't know if i told you guys i was taking a practice test yesterday or not but i did um while i was taking it i honestly felt worse about it than i did on the first one i took i thought like oh goodness i bombed this my score is gonna go down anyway I guess there's no bad news, but the good news is not as good as I wanted it to be. I mean, there was an increase in my score. Um, I was hoping to see a little bit more of an increase. It only went up by 3%. I do have four weeks left, so there's time. I'm just hoping this growth is not linear. I, I, and I also want to just be like transparent with you guys. Like I'm not feeling like, oh yeah, I got this. It's going to go great. Not right now. I'm feeling like I'm putting in a lot of work and I'm getting very little in return. That's where we are. It is May 9th. Um, I'm, I'm tired. It's like 8 o'clock now. Um, I didn't really get done today what I planned to get done. And I know I only have so many chances to do that before I'm out of time. What's up, guys? It is Sunday, May 14th. Um, today's kind of an important day. I'm three and a half weeks away from my, my test date. And I still have this step review um, document that I was, like, trying to get through. Um... And I don't know if I'm going to approach it the same way at this point. I was actually telling him this morning, like, before I was planning on, oh, I have to get through all of XYZ subjects before step. And with it being three and a half weeks away, I just don't know if that's the most efficient use of my time. So I'm thinking at this point, which is another thing I got from my professor, I'm thinking at this point, the best thing to do might be, like, if there are subjects that I just know for a fact, I've always been very weak on this, I'm going to do the Anki cards for those. Then, as I'm doing more and more practice questions, whatever questions I get wrong here, I'm going to unsuspend the... Um, the linked Anki car. Okay, I just finished my assessment. I think I had like 20 minutes left. Um, I tried my best to just be more intentional and take my time. I've noticed that in the last two I've taken, I have sometimes been in a rut. Let's see. Oh! <gasps> Okay, look, 
to those of you who are like top of the class i'm gonna be a neurosurgeon at johns hopkins this might not mean much to you but my last score was 58 percent equated percent correct and i was not expecting a jump like this i think i'll give it another week and then i'll take another cbssa and then if that's also 60 or higher, I think I might try to see if I can move my test date up. All right, what's up guys? It is Sunday, May 21st. Um, it's like a little after two o'clock. Yeah, 2.09. So I'm about to take my fourth practice exam, CBSSA. Um, the last one went really well, but I have to admit, I didn't necessarily brush up on all the things that I wanted to review this past week. I definitely think like if you're getting to the point where you're just feeling burnt out, you do need to take a break. At this point, I've taken form 30, 31, 29, and I'm going to take 28. I'll see you guys at like 7.30. <laughs> okay, guys, it is 7.13. I actually finished my practice exam. I don't know what time it was, but I had about 26 minutes left on the clock. Um... In terms of how I felt while I was taking it, I did feel like there were less questions that I was 100% certain on and I had to guess on a decent amount, like an amount that made me uncomfortable. But my results were pretty comparable to the last one actually. So I got 69% correct and a 97% chance of passing. And this is the overthinker in me. Like before I took this, I was resolved. If I get comparable results, I'm gonna move my test up. And then once it happened, now I'm like, oh, like, did I just get lucky? So I really think I'll move it up to the 31st, assuming that there's still availability. That gives me 10 days to really solidify the stuff that I've been weak on the whole time. Like, that is pretty much the extent of today's vlog. So I will keep you guys posted. All right, guys. So it is Tuesday, May 30th. My exam is tomorrow, Wednesday. May 31st. I haven't really vlogged in a while just because the last like week, week and a half has been a little crazy. I haven't been stressing too much about it. Um, I might review like a little thing here or there tonight or I might not. We are heading to the testing center now just to get a feel of where I will be going tomorrow, how far it is, the drive, all that stuff. And that's pretty much it I think for today. What's up guys? So I, I'm about... How long ago did I take step? Like a week now? Last Wednesday. Last Wednesday. So I'm a little more than a week out from my step exam. So let's talk about it. So during the exam, um, I don't even know how I felt, honestly. I, I definitely didn't feel like, oh yeah, I know every question, but I also didn't feel like, oh man, I don't know any of this stuff. So I'm in that weird place where it's like, did I know enough and did I do well enough in the stuff that I guessed on? Did I guess intelligently? In terms of just how my stamina was throughout the day, so um, I think I did, I skipped the tutorial because I did the free 120. The way the breaks work is you have a set amount of break time, I wanna say 45 minutes going in. Any time you save on any block gets added to your break time and that's also the case for the tutorial. So if you don't use those 13 minutes, it automatically gets added to your 45 minutes and you break up your break time however you want to it's, in terms of how long it took me I think um when I was done I had maybe 30 to 40 minutes left for my whole day they will give you two timers there's a timer for the section that you're in and then there's a timer for the the day telling you how many hours you have left to finish the entire exam I was very tired by the end of the day my eyes were feeling a little tired mentally i was tired physically i was tired i'm not sure if i ate enough the day of in terms of how i feel i did um it's up in the air you know i did my best i will be honest my focus was a little off going into the exam i i think i did well enough i think i passed um but we'll see hopefully i'll know soon and we'll be able to stop guessing and wondering about it oh my goodness guys so i am at orientation and I just got the news that my step one school is available so we're gonna check it now okay oh got my pass 
password wrong. get back into orientation but I will update you guys later so oh, I realized I had never done um I told you in the last clip that I was gonna like catch up with you guys later after orientation but I was very tired that day so anyway I kind of I guess want to round out this video now um so first I want to acknowledge and be sensitive to the fact that of course not everyone got the news that they were hoping for regarding their step score and that really has nothing to do with your capability, your ability to be a competent physician. If you did not get the news that you were hoping for, take the time to process that, but don't let it get you down. So in terms of how I'm feeling right now, um, I'm just incredibly relieved, you know? I've always tried to have a balanced perspective of, you know, I'm working hard and my hard work will pay off, but also like I am not any more worthy than the next student. We're all just out here doing our best and trying our hardest. Psychologically having to kind of prepare to do it again, I think would be really hard. So just kind of finding like the stamina and the discipline to just go back into that insane study mode. Most of us who are on this journey are familiar with imposter syndrome um, and I think when you do have a favorable outcome on a standardized exam such as the step exam it does kind of help to restore your confidence that this is your calling and this is the path that you're supposed to be on. I'm glad to be over it. I really am. Wouldn't, wouldn't, um, it's, it's hard. So I guess I just want to finish this video by saying um, to anyone that may be like starting their second year now and are really starting to think heavily about step, um, it's gonna feel, for some of you, it's gonna feel like such an insurmountable obstacle. Um, like I remember how I felt at the beginning of second year. I just felt like there's no way, like I don't know how I'm gonna, how I'm gonna know this material that well. Um, and just slowly but surely, if you put in the work over time, you will look up one day and you'll just have, you'll have like clinical raising skills that you didn't even know you were honing. So I just wanted to end this video that way. And I want you guys to stay tuned because I will be doing a video just on, hi friend. Hey friend. I will be doing a video on some of the things I wish I had done differently in my first and second years to help me better prepare for step. Stay tuned for that video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Let's get more, let's reach more proof.